And Dave Bautista joins us now alongside Joe. Dave, welcome to Good Morning Britain. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Great, great to be here. <laughs> it's always so extraordinary when WWE and extraordinary are so quietly spoken. Uh, yeah. They say hello. <laughs> yeah. Freaks us out of it. I'm naturally like an, an introverted, shy person. You're just. I read, I read you said something like that. Are you saying just saying? No, that? I swear, I swear. Really? When I was, yeah, people were actually shocked. Like my family was shocked when I started pr professional wrestling. Fell into this groove of, of bodybuilding. I was I was pursuing bodybuilding throughout my 20s, and I was working in nightclubs, and I was closing in on 30. And I realized that I had accomplished nothing and I had no future and I had nothing to fall back on. And I thought, well, what can I do after all these years? And I thought, well, I'll be a professional wrestler. Mm -hmm. And then I actually went and I failed miserably. They told me to leave and never come back. And then I, then I think I just pursued it out of, out of spite. And then I actually became so obsessed with it, I, I would have wrestled for free, but mm. I felt Do you think you'll it. ever go back to wrestling? I, I hope so, yeah. It's always an ongoing co ongoing conversation with uh, myself and WWE, and, yeah. and I never burnt that bridge and intentionally because I never really had any reason to. I left for certain reasons, mm. but I, I love professional wrestling, mm. and I love that company. And, you know, a, a lot of people are sort of watching this, oh, it's a wrestler's become an actor, and we've seen right. this before. And I think people realise, as a professional wrestler, you kind of, you almost learn to act, but without, without a script, without that word, I it's all physical. It's, so you, it's, you, you, a, it's yeah. a great training ground for what you're doing now, it's, isn't it? It's physical theater. That's always mm. the way I looked at it. It's very much a physical performance, and it was something mm. I was very comfortable with. Mm. The thing that, that drew me to acting was it was such a different performance. It was such an intimate performance. Did you find that easier? Because you said you was quite an no, internal no, person, no. so I think it was quite... You no, it, it was actually a lot harder. It was it was one of those things when I when I was wrestling and it, and I got used to it, like speaking to audiences as the more I got, went along. But you know, it's so big and so broad. You know, it's very I don't know, mm. it's conversational. But when acting becomes so intimate, it almost becomes claustrophobic, and you know? I was terrified of it. Well, you um, seem to have broken through that now. Guardians of the Galaxy, mm. <laughs> great role in that. Yeah, I mean, you, you are so funny yeah, in that. Everybody you. loves it. You're such a and big also, fan, by the uh, way. It's about five o'clock this morning. I'm a huge morning. fan. I'm just so <laughs> overexcited <laughs> since the early hours I knew you were on. Have you ever been to a football match? I am attending my first match tomorrow. Yeah? Who are you going to watch? Oh, <laughs> uh, West Ham. Ah, oh, what a but waste. But not... <laughs> what a waste. Oh, 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 they they won last week. They were off to a rough start. They won last week. And they're, they're, I feel they're on a roll, and we're going to bring them some good luck tomorrow. And, yeah. Well, I guess you know, it has to be it, West Ham, really, because it's shot at Upton Park, their old stadium, isn't it, those, this whole thing? It is. So you've got to stay loyal to that. And that's how it all came about through the producer who grew up there, uh, Mark Goldberg. He grew up, uh, mm. and he knew it was going to be demolished, and he wanted to pay tribute to his stadium. Now, you mentioned Piers Brosnan. You, mm -hmm. of course, have been a bomb villain. Yes. But not with Piers Brosnan. That no. was it, Inspector. Yeah. Rumours that you might be back, Mr Hink, the character, might be back. I, you know, I'm, my fingers are crossed. Uh, How in America is Bond still seen as being, you know, a, a real great film franchise to be part around, of? The American actors around the working. world, around the world. I mean, it just translates, and everybody loves James Bond. Um, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a franchise as well. Yeah. Are we going to see any more of those? I believe so. Yeah, we definitely see more Guardians and the upcoming Avengers, which yeah. we've already shot. At. Yeah, and the last time we see the Avengers, yeah. they were crumbled to dust, which yeah, distressed my you know, son completely. <laughs> <laughs> which, oddly enough, I, you know, I, I guess I wasn't supposed to say anything, but I was already saying before the uh, Guardians 3, or I'm sorry, Avengers 3 was released, that I had already filmed four. Yes! And I was signed up for Guardians 3, so... Yeah, I've shot scenes in it, so it yeah, must come you know. back somehow. <laughs> it's got to. It's got to. It's got to. That's comforting, yeah. though, isn't it, for a character to know you are back? It, it, it's comforting, <laughs> but at the same time, I felt a sense of guilt because I don't know if I was supposed to say anything, oh. but I had already... And nobody told me not to say To be anything. fair, at the end of Guardians 2, it says Guardians 3 will return. Right. So, yeah, you know, yeah. so, that's a big yeah. clue, yeah, isn't it? That's a big yeah. clue. Yeah. <laughs> you know your stuff, Kate. Right. 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 Nothing gets past Kate. So good to meet you. So good to meet you. Dave, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.